Hi everyone, I'm Devin Coombs and today I will be covering question 11 in our series on managerial accounting. Uh, this is following the CSUN Gateway Lab exams, but it's helpful for anyone and today it's a very important subject. We are covering overhead allocation. So that's one of the most difficult subjects in managerial and in cost accounting. It's how do we allocate overhead. Uh, and today we're going to be looking over activity-based costing. So let's read the question, let's dive into it, and I'll show you all the tips and techniques to get past this problem, no problem. Uh, okay, question 11. This sprinkler supply sells sprinkler systems suited for large or small yards. The company has decided to adopt an activity-based costing system. Last year, the company incurred $1 million in overhead costs related to the following activities. We have purchasing. Uh, they allocate that based off of the number of purchase orders, and that's $350,000. We have a material handling activity. The allocation base is the number of shipments received, and that was $200,000. And the quality inspection activity is based off of the number of inspections, and so the overhead cost is $450,000. And then it gives us the number of activities. So the purchase orders, we had approximately 35,000, so 15,000 large and 20,000 small. Shipments received, 7,500 7, large, 12,500 small. Um, and then inspections, 11,500 large, 11,000 small. So I'm going to go over exactly what activity based costing is, real quick. So activity-based costing is that we're ju it's just where we allocate our overhead costs uh, when considering overhead to certain activities. So overhead is a very tricky thing to allocate when considering costs because uh, it's more, the most difficult. So we all know we have direct labor, direct materials, and factory overhead. Direct labor is very easy to track because uh, if someone works on a project, we can just have them write a time ticket for the time they've worked and we can track their hours and track their labor costs to that product. Same thing with uh, direct materials. If I'm building something, uh, I can just see how much those material co materials cost by looking at uh, any forms, any invoice I have, and then determine how much I put into that product. And it's a simple calculation to figure out how much it actually costs me. Uh, overhead is significantly more difficult to calculate because how do we how do we allocate things like electricity or indirect materials or very small costs that add up to large amounts like this company had a million dollars in overhead costs but uh, how do they allocate all of those costs to specific items so one of the ways we can do that is activity based costing uh, so what this company does is for an activity like purchasing so their purchasing department they look at the number of purchase orders that they've received and they allocate 35% or $350,000 towards the purchasing department. Uh, then what they can do to look at specific items is then take the purchase orders, add these up because we're not doing large or small separately, and take 350,000 divided by 35,000, which is the total 15,000 plus 20,000, in order to see exactly how much per purchase order of overhead costs they are incurring. So I'm gonna go over this in detail, but that was just the broad overlay of what, uh, what overhead allocation based off of activity-based costing is. So let's read the question. If a customer requested a bid on a specially designed sprinkler that would probably require four inspections, how much quality inspection overhead would you include in the bid? So we know we're talking about quality inspection overhead. So we can go to this this next one and we see that all we have to worry about so there's all this erroneous it's not erroneous but all this unnecessary information uh, we don't need to know the purchasing department we don't need to know material handing we don't need to know how much total of overhead costs we were considering so we can just remove all this information uh, we let there's a lot of problems in accounting and in your advanced business classes that really ask give you so much information and you only need to find and use a little bit of that information. That's part of the process. Uh, you want to be able to look at a lot of information and determine what you need, analyze it, and then spit back what someone wants. So this is a good question. Um, so all we need is quality inspection. So our allocation base is number of inspections. And so then we look, okay, well, how many inspections did we do during the year? And we see, oh, we had 11,500 small, large and 11,000 small. So it doesn't ask anywhere here for us to split up the different 
activities into large or small bases. So we can just add these together. If we add them together, we get 22,500. So I added them together here. So this is just all of the important information. I just summarized everything. Uh, we also know that it cost us $450,000 total for overhead costs. So 450,000 divided by the total number of total inspections gives us our overhead cost per inspection, which is $20 per, per inspection. So it's $20 per inspection. Uh, we found this by taking the overhead cost, the total overhead cost for quality inspections, and divided it by the total number of inspections. Then we'll see on this next slide that it asks us how much will four inspections cost. Uh, well, we just multiply the 20 by the four. So we'll see right here. If a customer requests a bid on a specially designed sprinkler that would probably require four inspections, four inspections, uh, how much quality inspection overhead would you include in the bid? Well, you would include $80 because we calculated out the $20 per inspection and then we found it's asking us how much four inspections would cost. So we just multiply that by the four inspections. So this is just one way of allocating overhead costs. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, feel free to write in the comments below or write on my Twitter. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I'm going to be doing videos all the time regarding business and accounting and just tons of subjects. So I, I would appreciate your subscriptions. And I hope you have a good exam. And uh, best of luck. And watch more videos. Have a great day.